In an attempt to study space, scientists develop the James Webb Space Telescope, the billion dollars infrared astronomical invention known as the James Webb Space Telescope was launched on December 25, 2021. The James Webb Telescope will give room for the exploration of Stephen Hawking's controversial theory about black holes. The project is to better answer the questions of, is the black hole theory really a thing? Is the telescope sufficient to measure the credibility of Stephen Hawking's theory? What are the findings of the James Webb's telescope? Are we at the brink of knowing more about our existence? For those of you who are curious to find out more about NASA opinion and the latest discoveries on James Webb Space Telescope, after several trials, the researchers have come up with some interesting findings. Watch to the end of the video to catch up on the latest discoveries on James Webb's telescope and also hear what other scientists have to say on the space project. Now NASA has reported that the James Webb Space Telescope Sun Shield, which is the same size as a tennis court, has been entirely installed. The major landmark in the Space Telescope's hunt to investigate every phase of cosmic history. Webb's equipment is stored in the shade by the 70-foot or 21-meter-long kite-shaped contraption, which works as a parasol, guaranteeing that they can detect any cardinal signals from the furthest reaches of the universe. Within two days, each layer was unveiled one after the other. They provided an SPF or sun resistance factor of about one million when they worked together. Appointment of the five-membrane sun shield is an achievement for the engineering team USBC agency NASA and the American aerospace manufacturing Northrop Grumman. The major engineering teams are currently unveiling the observatory from its folded launch composition and the operational arrangement. A new study reports that we may soon be able to experiment with one of Stephen Hawking's most contentious theories, which was first proposed in the 1970s, that the invisible substance dark matter could be made of holes formed in the first fraction of a second after the Big Bang. Hawking conjectured in the 1970s that dark matter, the invisible element that makes up most of the universe's mass, could be made up of black holes brought about in the early stages of the Big Bang. Three astronomers have now propounded the theory that doesn't just explain the presence of dark matter, but the universe's appearance is the greatest black hole. Even though the human race has never been able to understand the existence of dark matter, black holes have been observed and examined as the world witnessed the first photograph of a black hole in 2019. The new study led by Yale University, the University of Miami and the European Space Agency is focused on the theory proposed by Bernard Carr and Stephen Hawking, which addressed the beginning of black holes. After the Big Bang, in a statement study, an astrophysicist at Yale University said, What I find personally super exciting about this idea is how it elegantly unifies the two really challenging problems that I work on, that of probing the nature of dark matter and the formation and growth of black holes, and resolves them in one fell swoop. Various new equipment like the recently launched James Webb Space Telescope, we provide the data needed to evaluate Hawking's Greenhow theory finally. Dark matter sums up more than 80% of all the components in the cosmos, but it has no direct interaction with light. It simply floats around, massively affecting the gravity of the galaxy. It is tempting to believe that black holes cause this mystifying stuff because they are absolutely dark. Populating a galaxy with them might hypothetically explain all of the dark matter discoveries made from computations of the early universe, where the first hydrogen and helium formed. 
Scientists know how much normal matter there is in the universe, and there isn't enough normal matter to account for all of the dark matter discovered by astronomers. This is where Hawking stepped in. In 1971, he proposed that black holes emerged in the chaotic atmosphere of the Big Bang's early stages. Their pockets of matter might reach the densities required to form black holes on their own, stunning the universe with them long before the first stars twinkled. These primordial black holes could cause dark matter. According to Hawking, while the concept was intriguing, most astrophysicists were more focused on discovering a new subatomic particle that may explain dark matter. In the latest research, Nataraya Nico Capaluti at the University of Miami and Gunther Heisinger at the European Space Agency took a deep dive into the theory of primordial black holes. They were exploring how they might explain the dark matter and possibly resolve other cosmological challenges. For example, primordial black holes must be within a specific mass range to pass present observational tests. The researchers hypothesize that the primordial black holes are heading mass of about 1.4 times the Sun. Their latest study made a model of the cosmos in which all of the dark matter was replaced by these rather light black holes. The researchers found out that primordial black holes may have played an essential role in the universe's evolution by seeding the earliest stars, galaxies, and supermassive black holes, or SMB, ages. Observations indicate that stars, galaxies, and SMB ages appear swiftly in cosmological history, maybe too fast to explain the current universe's formation and expansion processes. Natarayan said, Primordial black holes, if they do exist, could well be the seeds from which all supermassive black holes form, including the one at the center of the Milky Way. Capaluti said in a statement, Our study shows that without introducing new particles or new physics, we can solve mysteries of modern cosmology, from the nature of dark matter itself to the origin of supermassive black holes. Researchers believe that, with enough investigations into the data and insights gathered thus far, and the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope into space, we will see until the first galaxies following the Big Bang. The study will solve the riddle surrounding dark matter along with the telescope. The next generation of gravitational wave detectors, particularly the Laser Interferometer Space Antenna, or LISA, will bring about a lot more about black holes' primordial ones. If they exist, the telescope will start operating six months after its launch. Now it has started to unfold. The telescope had to be folded origami-style, since it was too big to fit in the rocket's nose cone and its operating configuration unfurling is a complex and challenging task, and it is the hardest deployment NASA has ever undertaken. Thomas Zerbuchen, the Associate Administrator for NASA's Science Mission Directorate, said in a statement, This is the first time anyone has ever attempted to put a telescope this large into space. The success of its most challenging deployment the Sun Shield is an incredible testament to the human ingenuity and engineering skills that will enable Webb to accomplish its science goals. Can we find the answer to the existence of the human race? I guess we will have to watch to the end of the video to find out. NASA recently revealed some unexpected information about the future of the telescope. Its science mission is planned to be active much longer than 10 years, which has already more than doubled emissions' minimum duration. The James Webb Telescope was originally expected to be active for 5 to 10 years. Still, according to NASA's latest research, the telescope will likely have enough fuel to support scientific operations considerably longer. The excess propellant is as a result of the precision of the Ariane 5 rocket on which the James Webb Telescope was launched into space because of the precise trajectory. The observatory is now in progress. It will need more propellant for orbit maintenance 
and momentum control, resulting in a longer operational lifetime. Due to this, there will be more science and we will be able to know the source of our existence better. We will arrive at its destination in space, known as the second Lagrange point, in a matter of weeks, but it will still need around five and a half months to set up. It means we are just months away from the answer to our existence. The next steps include deploying its secondary and primary mirror wings, aligning the telescope's optics, and calibrating its science instruments. We will keep you updated about every movement and then the discovery of the massive telescope, which will bring revolution to space studies and open new gates of opportunities for us. What do you think about this major goal of the James Webb Space Telescope? Is it going to be able to test the theory of black holes? Share your views in the comments section below. If you like the content, do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to update incoming space videos. Until then, have a great day and thank you for watching.